In this video, we will learn how to find the long run equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity and also the number of firms in the long run and how to get the market quantity using a numerical problem. The question is market demand is being given as says QD is equal to 24 minus P, P is the price, Q denotes the market output. Each firm in the competitive market has identical cost function. So each uh, firm is facing this kind of, uh, you know, same cost function that is a uh, CQ that means cost of each firm is equal to 16 plus Q square. We have to determine the long run equilibrium quantity per, for, per firm. Uh, second is the long run equilibrium price, market quantity and number of firms. Okay. So by long run, what we mean? in the long run uh, the equilibrium is characterized by zero economic profit that means this is a condition where price is equal to average cost which is equal to the marginal cost this is the long run equilibrium condition under perfect competition and graphically it means if we have a simple graph let us say we have quantity on this side and uh, these average cost, marginal cost, and price on this side. Let us say uh, this is our average cost, what we sometimes call the average, uh, you know, average total cost also. And let us say this is our uh, marginal cost. Okay. So in the long run, equilibrium is attained. So equilibrium occurs where our average cost is equal to marginal cost which in turn is equal to the price okay so this point is the long run equilibrium where uh, you know each firm is having zero economic profit so first thing is first what we are being given we are being uh, given the cost function of each firm is and let me write it here so total cost function or C is equal to uh, 16 plus Q square. This is the cost function. And I have told you the equilibrium occurs where our price is equal to average cost, which is in turn equal to the marginal cost. So first thing is we have to find out the average cost. Okay. So what is average cost? Simply. Uh, you know total cost upon quantity that is uh, 16 uh, plus q square upon q which gives us uh, 16 upon q plus q this is our average cost and what about the marginal cost so we have to also find out the marginal cost marginal cost as you know is simply the derivative of cost function with respect to output so taking derivative of this function with respect to q gives us the marginal cost derivative of a constant is zero derivative of q square will be 2q that implies when we equate average cost with marginal cost okay and our average cost is 16 uh, upon Q, 16 upon Q plus Q and our marginal cost is 2Q, solving for Q, okay, so if I transpose this, uh, it will become Q is equal to 16 upon Q, which gives us Q into Q is Q square, Q square is equal to 16, which gives us Q is equal to Transposing this, uh, it will become plus minus and let me write it here. Uh, plus minus under root 16 and which is equal to Q is equal to that is plus minus 4 and or let me write it here. It will become plus minus 4 and we negate the negative uh, you, you know value here because quantity cannot be negative so we take q is equal to 4 as the plausible thing here that means each firm will you know produce 4 units 
that means long run equilibrium quantity for per firm will be equal to 4 ok let me write it here and if we can also draw the graph here and we can ok so no problem we don't uh, need uh, to draw the graph here so at equilibrium output produced by each firm will be 4 now we need to find out the equilibrium price since uh, p is equal to average cost so uh, to find the price we write p is equal to we evaluate average cost okay average cost at the equilibrium quantity so evaluating average cost at q is equal to 4 so what is our average cost average cost is uh, this thing so in place of q we will write uh, 4 that is 16 upon 4 plus 4 which gives us 16 upon 4 is 4 plus 4 that gives us 8 as the equilibrium price so 8 is the equilibrium price so the long run equilibrium price is 8 now the third part tells us to find out the market quantity okay so to find out the market quantity what is our uh, quantity market quantity which is denoted by capital q which will be equal to 24 minus p okay so uh, q will be equal to 24 in place of p we got p is equal to 8 so we subtract 8 so total market quantity will be 24 minus 8 comes out to be 16 okay so market quantity will be 16 let me write it here and number of firms okay so fourth um, question is about number of firms so number of firms is simply the market quantity which is denoted by capital Q so total market quantity is denoted by capital Q divided by small Q which is the quantity produced by each single firm so each single firm is producing four units total market quantity is 16 so in place of Q we have 16 upon each firm is producing four and it will give us sorry let me write it here four which comes out to be four okay so the number of firms uh, in this question will be equal to four okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you